Well, hello, it's CMO, and today it's consignment day. Hi, everyone. This is Liz from Chief Mom Officer, where I talk all about money, work, and frugality to help you reach financial freedom. And today I'm sharing my top five consignment shopping tips. I happen to be an avid consignment shop lover, and this week I needed some new clothes for FinCon, and my little guy, who's four years old, needed some new clothes for fall and winter. It's been kind of chilly here in Connecticut lately, so the fact that he'd outgrown a lot of his old fall and winter clothes meant it was important he snag some new ones soon. Instead of heading out to the store or shopping Labor Day sales, we went right over to my favorite consignment shops. I was able to snag a bunch of suit jackets as well as a brand new looking London Fog red coat and the little guy was able to get a wide selection of pajamas, shirts, sweatshirts, pants, and even a new Halloween costume. On average mine cost under $12 per item and the little guys cost less than $4 per item. Part of the reason I love consignment shopping is not just the low prices, but also the fact that it lessens the environmental impact and it doesn't contribute as much to fast fashion and some of the issues that come along with that. I did write a blog post, which I'll link in the description box below, about why I don't like fast fashion and why I think it's important for my own personal clothes philosophy to buy from consignment shops as much as possible. The fact that lots of other people are into fast fashion and do get rid of their clothes relatively quickly, in addition to the fact that kids tend to outgrow their clothes before they outwear them, and especially recently with people conmarrying their closets, it means that the secondhand clothes market is huge. And today I'm going to help you by giving you my top five consignment shopping tips. Number one find a good store. This can take a while. It took me quite some time to find my current favorite consignment stores, uh, especially for women's clothes, because a lot of the consignment shops that I would visit originally either didn't have a good selection or had a lot of worn out clothes. Sometimes they only had really dated items, but eventually I found my current shop that I love. So what I would suggest is don't be afraid to check out a bunch of different stores. If you visit one and you don't like it, try another one. Make a fun day of it. Go around, bring some coffee, bring some lunch, bring a friend, and go check out what there is to offer. I bet you'll find a new favorite. Number two, examine the clothes closely. When you're buying something from a consignment shop, you especially want to pay attention to the quality and the uh, condition of the clothes. So I always check zippers, buttons, make sure there's no fraying or wearing, particularly around the bottoms of clothes, the sleeves, etc. And my husband mentioned for men's clothes, he always makes sure to check the collar because that's where they tend to get worn from, scruffy beards. Just because you're shopping at a consignment shop doesn't mean that you need to settle for clothes that don't look good. You want the clothes to look basically like you just went to a store and bought them brand new. Number three. Be flexible. You'll want to visit with an open mind. Now that you've found a good consignment shop where there's a lot of items there that match your personal taste and style, you're going to want to go shopping with an open mind and try to look at everything. It can be kind of hard sometimes to find that perfect diamond in the rough in the consignment shop, but your patience will be rewarded. Number four, give it a try for one-time purchases. Now let's say that you're not ready to go all in and get your entire wardrobe from a consignment shop like I do. Give it a shot for some one-time purchases at first to kind of ease yourself in. I know for my kids when I've had to get clothing for say a wedding or a funeral, Halloween costume, maybe a fun outfit for 90s dress up day at school, the consignment shop can be a perfect place to get those one-use items because someone else probably only used it one time. 
Same thing goes for adults. If you need a special occasion dress that you're only going to wear once for a party, well, someone else probably bought a fancy special occasion dress for a party that they wore once and then they sold it to a consignment shop. So you can benefit from that. Number five, sell back when you're done. One great way to save money, but also help contribute to other people being able to find good clothes at a consignment shop is to sell yours at one. I tend to wear my clothes until they die and become threadbare and should be turned into rags. But if you're not that kind of person and you like to change it up, or if your kids outgrow their clothes before they outwear them, sell it back to that same consignment shop and then use the credit to get something else. It's a win-win. You'll save money and you're also helping someone else find a great outfit. Those are my top five tips for getting started in consignment shopping. I hope that you have a lot of fun experimenting with it for yourself. And even if you don't get your entire wardrobe from a consignment shop, getting a few strategic pieces or even just special occasion outfits can help you save money but also lessen your environmental impact and contribution to some of the issues that fast fashion has. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more experiments in my YouTube video making. Down in the description box below, you'll find links to all my social media handles as well as that article I talked about earlier that tells you a little bit more about my clothes philosophy. I hope you'll leave me a comment to let me know if you're planning to try consignment shopping and if you've tried it before, what you've thought about it and what tips that you have. Have an amazing day.